Assalamu alaikum y'all. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl Mamadi. Today we're going to be talking about what to pack for Umrah and some things I packed when I went for Umrah. Um, inshallah, I will be having another video showing you guys what I did pack in my luggage, like in detail. Well, not in details, but just like to kind of see what I did actually pack and how I packed. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe down below, like, comment, um, and then also share if you can. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Um, okay, so we're going to get started. So I, for a long time, was researching what to bring, what do you bring with you when you're going to Mecca and Medina. And I took a lot of notes. But the thing is, I didn't realize some of the videos I was watching, like some of these people went to Umrah when in like the summer. So some of the things I brought with me, I didn't necessarily really need because it was actually kind of chilly around the time um, I went. So, and let's keep in mind, this is January. So, and we're in February right now. So it's, it was kind of cold. It was still like definitely, um, like warm at times but it was still chilly especially at night um so i'm just gonna go into what i wrote in my little notebook for like things to bring i had a long checklist of things and i went through it and you know checked it off and i started a dual list but i didn't finish but so we did get like a, a checklist of like essential items when traveling and the first on the list was important documents such as your passport your vaccine cards and your COVID test results because right now we're in COVID times they do require you to have um, your COVID test results within 72 hours of traveling or something like that but yeah you're also going to need pocket money um I wouldn't say I spent too much because we were there for about two weeks um so I didn't really my intention wasn't to go there to spend a lot of money anyway so I didn't necessarily bring a lot of pocket money with me because you're gonna need pocket money for like for example like for your food you're gonna eat which is not like really costly um, there you're gonna need food money you're gonna need money to buy souvenirs um, and if you want to buy for family as well and you're gonna need money just for like things like for example we had to get like two extra COVID tests so things like that, you know, just random things that may come up. And you never know, you just may need pocket money, just in case. And then also, depending what kind of um, car you have with your bank, um, you may or may not get charged international fees. So that's why a lot of people will take out like pocket money and not everywhere also in Mecca Medina take card. Well, some places only take cash. So that's something to keep in mind when you're going. You wanna definitely pack clothes. <laughs> You want to definitely pack clothes. Um, for me, I packed like my underclothes, um, my leggings, my underscarf. Like I had multiple of like the same thing, like especially leggings. Um, those are things like my essentials for like as a hijabi. You want to make sure you pack those things. I brought a couple of bias and scarves. I brought my niqabs with me as well. But um, I kind of wish I didn't pack as much um, hijabs and abayas because... When you get there, so the thing is, I bought some abayas and scarves before going, which was not smart because when you get there, you're going to find even better um, clothing for even cheaper. So I kind of wish I didn't spend money like before going just because I could have used that money and have extra just from buying there instead. But it was my first time. I wasn't sure and I didn't really see much videos about like, like in terms of like bringing like the type of clothes you want to bring well not necessarily the type of clothes but if you want to bring like a lot of clothes or not a lot of clothes um as for the guys i really don't know much about that they do have a lot of varied options when buying clothes um, medina as well medina is a little bit cheaper than mecca so i'd keep that in mind um if you are going to go to mecca and medina. make sure you bring comfortable clothes as well a little coat if you're gonna go um around like november to i would say march i'm not sure how the weather is but just guessing from when i was there in january it's probably going to be cold towards like the winter um, months that we consider like winter months um you want to bring like medicine with you i was kind of like the pharmacist when i was there in a way 
um, I brought like so much medication and stuff just because you just never know and you don't know if you have access to it when you get there as well so I brought like a lot of medicines and stuff like that you want to bring a string bag let me show you guys mine this is this is what I brought this is like a safety theft kind of bag I got a while back when I was going to Senegal back home but this is the bag it has like a bag this is where I put my notebook or my Quran, like my little Quran if I had it. And then this is where I like I put some other stuff. When you open it, I just had like my documents, lotion, my phone, my portable charger. Ooh. Yeah, I just had those things with me. And I want to show you guys something here. So here on the side you can latch it right there. You can like lock it. So like so, so someone couldn't like just easily open up your bag and then also right here I'll show you guys it like locks so you can open it Let me see. you can open it get get the um thing out whatever I don't even know what these things are called and then you turn it and it locks so if someone was to try to take your snatch your bag see that it wouldn't they couldn't take it because it's latched on and the nice thing is, on the other side, it's stitched in. So even if this broke off, you still got this part. So they gonna have to break your neck or something to grab your bag. Um, when I was watching my videos on like what to bring for um, Mecca and Mid Umrah, um, I wrote down umbrellas, umbrella and sunglasses. So I got like those big sunglasses that um, cover the sides as well. But I didn't really need it because it wasn't really like sunny all the time. And I think the video I was watching was the person went like during the summertime when it was really hot in um, Saudi. So I didn't use it at all. And then my umbrella, I don't remember the one time it did rain, we were, I was inside. Well, we were inside so like I didn't really need it. I didn't use my umbrella at all. The sun wasn't scorching hot so I didn't need my umbrella. So yeah, I didn't really use that either. I would say the next thing you want to have, and I don't know if I already mentioned snacks, you want to make sure you bring enough snacks um, just like during the day and things like that when you're not eating. Um, I brought a lot of like Asian snacks and I bought biscuits, tea, just like you know my everyday snacks I have here. You want to bring safety pin, especially for the guys for your ihram when you put it on. Um, using a safety pin would definitely help to like pin what you have on. For sisters, you want to bring sanitary pads if you need it, um, just in case. Um, sunscreen. I got a sunscreen. Let me show you guys what my sunscreen. It's called Black Girl Sunscreen. This is what I used throughout my trip for my face. Um, and I did put it on my hands, like mostly my body parts that were showing. So I use this, it's really good. It leaves no residue and it's really moisturizing to the skin as well. And it doesn't like, it doesn't say oily either. So I would recommend this. One of my girls um, recommended it to me and I've been using it ever since. Next thing on the list, you wanna bring a travel prayer mat. Um, someone gifted me this travel prayer mat when I was in, someone gifted me this travel prayer mat when I was in Medina, but you can get any kind. I bought mine when I got to Mecca. Um, we went to Mecca. No. Yeah, we went to Mecca then Medina. But I went to Mecca and I got one at one of the stores nearby. Because I couldn't find the one I had here. So I bought mine there. Um, they have them everywhere, like almost in every store. And then when I got to Medina, someone gifted me this one. And I do use it in my room sometimes. But yeah, just any kind of like prayer wood. I feel like I'm kind of like going like <laughs> out of order, but it's just as I go. You want to bring a first aid kit, obviously. You want to bring a journal where you write down like, you know, your travel list. And you know, it's good to write down a travel list just because if anything goes missing, you can tell, you can see like, oh, what, what you forgot, what you missed out on. I mean, what you lost. Um, you want to, you, you can also use this like your journal book to journal like your days there and um, what you learned and then also your dua list I would recommend writing um, the duas you want to make when you're going for umrah 
you want to make sure you pack your ihram clothes i would recommend packing your ihram clothes on your check-in luggage no not your check-in luggage on your carry-on luggage or your carry-on bag just in case you never know what delays with check-in luggages and things like that so it's always good to have that in mind if not they always do have um, ihram clothing in ihram clothing in stores nearby and for sisters you can just really wear anything so if you don't have it on you you can also buy there if you have pocket money with you very very important we're always on our phones we're all, we have electronics around us 24 7 so you definitely want to bring um, a universal like universal travel adapter um, you want to make sure you have all your chargers so of course you're gonna need like hand sanitizers um, shaving stuff toothbrush toothpaste travel pillow the flight is long um, oh yeah shoes i packed i packed two so i had to go to one state and then continue from there so i brought boots with me because the sail is going to it's pretty cold um and then i brought like my shoes i would wear when i did get there and let me show you guys this is the shoes i brought with me it's a little dusty right now because I've been wearing it. Um, these are the shoes I brought with me. They're Crocs. Um, I, I'm going to try to see if I can find the link and I'll put it in my bio. But I would definitely recommend this for, especially if you're going for Uma in the, when it's in the summertime. Um, it was comfortable. I wore it like almost every day. And the nice thing about it is when I make wudu, like it dries up fast and I can wipe it off easily easily and it was just like overall really easy to walk around with i would also recommend bringing sneakers i wish i brought my sneakers um definitely would have made some of the trips easier on my feet for sisters or brothers as well i would recommend bringing this or getting one of these there's like different kinds but this one i've had for years now I've had it for probably like four or five years Inside of it is where, on this side, I packed like my medicines and like my first aid kit. Um, this was my first aid kit and it came in a little pouch. You can find them at like any store, Walmart, um, in the travel section. They come in like little packs like this so it wouldn't take up so much space. And then on this side, I had um, like my lotions, my wipes, just like sanitary items with me on my carry-on. Okay guys, so that's about it for what I packed for Umrah. If there's anything that I forgot in the video, I will add it to the next video on where I show you guys how I packed and what I did pack like in details. Um, but if you have any questions and you have any comments, you can comment down below. Make sure you like, um, comment, and share. And please give feedback because I love feedback. How am I going to improve if you guys don't tell me? So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned for the next video I have coming up. Thank you guys for watching and I really appreciate all the support.